There's some good news and bad news tonight for men suffering from hair loss. A study finds that the baldness drug Propecia is linked to long-term sexual side effects and severe depression. The good news, a new technique involving pig bladder, I know, pig bladder, offers hope for hair loss. CW33's Barry Carpenter really is here with more. I know, it, it's, it's not a cure, but it's a step in the right direction, everyone. One in three men will suffer from hair loss. Some guys just shave their head and be done with it, while others soldier on, risking potential sexual side effects and surgery. But a growing science that works a lot like fertilizer on your lawn is beginning to take sprout. A few years ago, Sean McWalter noticed his hair was thinning. Not much, but enough for him to try the baldness drug Propecia. Soon after I started taking it, it I, there was some noticeable side effects. Mainly, I just felt like my bladder or my prostate or something was being squeezed. Sean stopped using it after two weeks and everything returned to normal. But a new study appearing in the Journal of Sexual Medicine finds that Sean is a lucky guy. Researchers at George Washington University looked at 54 men under the age of 40 and found that 96% of them had sexual issues lasting longer than a year after they stopped using the medication. How far are we along right now? Dr. Sam Lamb has written two books on transplanting hair. He says while there are known side effects, he considers Propecia to be largely safe and effective. A lot of times on the internet things get overhyped, and I would say it's one of the most powerful drugs we have right now, especially for young men that may not have options for hair restoration. As men age, hair transplant becomes a better option, one that Sean took advantage of after he stopped using Propecia. Dr. Lamb is also using a process called platelet-rich plasma, or PRP. The patient's blood is spun down through centrifugation, then the purified elements are re-injected into the patient's scalp. PRP helps speed up the healing process, and now Dr. Lamb integrates a cell pig bladder with the PRP. I've started with my patients on experimental level, and now it's nothing short of a miracle. It's been the best thing I've done in the last decade in hair restoration. This is all done with injection back here. Sean had it Please. done on his thinning crown. No hair transplant there, just a shot of PRP and pig bladder. This is Sean before, and this is Sean after. There was no surgery done, but six months after that, all the hair on the crown of my head came back completely. Researchers say their Propecia study sample was small and the likelihood of men being impacted is even smaller, maybe 0.1 percent. Both the FDA and the maker of Propecia say it's safe and effective. For men who don't like those odds, Sean says there is now hope for a full head of hair. Hopefully this new procedure makes it even easier for people to treat if they're concerned about losing their hair. Perry Carpenter, CW33 News. You might want to share that story with some of your friends, and you can find the latest health headlines anytime and that story at CW33.com. Just click on health.